Just as I do every morning, I sit down on my computer and go to the internet. I type in Minnesota Twins News to try to find the latest updates for the Minnesota Twins discussion. And look what I found this morning. John Curtis has been traded to the Angels. I am so devastated. What are we going to do? Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to our Minnesota Twins discussion videos and I have a very exciting episode for you today. I know you just saw that little preview of me being all sad. You saw the title. Well, there has been a trade. It has been confirmed. Minnesota has traded John Curtis all the way to L.A. for a very talented, very young prospect in Daniel Ozoria. And I am very, very, very excited. So, yeah, I, I previewed that. You know, I was really sad, and I, I've made a couple comments about John Curtis in the past, uh, but I am very excited about this trade. Honestly, this is probably one of the best trades the Twins have had in a long time. So, I do want to I do want to preface this video by saying, you know, I do not hate uh, John Curtis. I think he's probably a great guy. He's probably a really nice guy, and you know, we've given him chances. And he just hasn't been productive. So by me saying, you know, I am extremely happy he's gone. There's nothing personal against him. It's just, you know, like I said, we gave him some chances. He really, really struggled. And now he's gone. Uh, also, though, the, the bright side of things is I do think this is going to be a great trade for both teams. Uh, specifically two reasons. The first reason is the Minnesota Twins have a reputation of... Sending guys away once they've been in the organization for a little while. Uh, sending guys away, and they tend to do very well on uh, the teams that they get traded to. For example, just three examples here. Aaron Hicks, when he went to the Yankees, is now almost, you know, a stud. Uh, considering their, you know, outfield situation, he's still incredibly good over there. Uh, Nunez in Boston. David Ortiz, 2004. Uh, when he went to Boston, you know, you've got these players that have gone – from the Twins organization to other organizations, and they've done very, very well. So I do think that is a bright side for uh, you know the Angels as well as I do think this trade is extremely beneficial for both teams. We and the Twins got an incredibly young and talented uh, guy in high school. Uh, you don't see many guys like this. I mean, you get, you've got plenty of guys who get drafted out of high school. Do they go to the MLB? Maybe, maybe not, but... This guy has been in the organization for two years already. He started when he was 16 years old, and you know he's gonna be he's gonna keep going, and he'll get better. And I do think that'll benefit both the Twins and the Angels by getting John Curtis, because he's only 25. He's 25. He's got a good fastball. He's a strikeout pitcher, but he gives up too many hits, too many runs, and we'll get into his stats here in a second. But I did want to just say that I do think this is a fantastic trade for both teams. You know. The Angels are getting an experienced pitcher uh, who just needs to work on his craft a little bit. And like I said, going into another organization, I do think he will do pretty well. However, on the other side, the Twins did get an extremely young prospect as well. He's a middle infielder, which is crazy because the Twins have like seven middle infielders. We've got, you know, Nick Gordon. We've got Jonathan Scope. If we sign Logan Forsythe, we'll have him. We have Andre Anza. We have Polanco. We have Sano at third base. We have Ostadillo at third base. Uh, you know, we can move these guys all around, and that's not even, I guess, going into our farm system. We have Ronald Torres. We have uh, our Alex Lex Lewis guy. There we go. I, I don't know why I was uh, blanking on our first-round pick, but it seems that we go out and pick up middle infielders all the time. And I don't know if we're just specifically using them for trade bait or if we will develop them into a player. And one more thing before we get into the stats here. Uh, regardless of how this guy turns out uh if if ozaria really struggles he's 18 he's probably not gonna struggle you know he's gonna work his way up the ranks uh and i expect him to be in the majors if they want to you know pursue him this far in you know three or four years you know still 21 years old in the majors that'd be very very good for him but let's just say he struggles you know we could you know he's I mean, he's 18, and we traded John Curtis for him. I don't think that's too much of a risk. 
Uh, if he does well, we can use him as trade bait because we have seven other infielders. And, you know, they're all not bad. And if he turns into a superstar, welcome to the majors. You know what I'm saying? We just probably got the steal of a lifetime if he, if he turns out to be, you know, a fantastic player. So let's just jump into uh, Curtis's stats first. And, and have very good seasons here and that is why I do think it was a very good idea to to send him out and you know try to get what we could from him and honestly you know it doesn't matter how this guy does is I think this is probably going to be like I said the steal of uh of of quite a long time I guess I don't uh I don't really know what else to say besides he is going it, We'll get into his stats. Let's just let's just jump into his stats, why don't we? And we can make assumptions. He's not the best player in the world, but he's 17, 18 years old. I mean, this kid, he's got potential. He's hes going to work himself up. And like I said, if he turns into a superstar, fantastic. Welcome to the majors. We'll plug you in wherever we can. If he doesn't, we can maybe use him as trade bait, try to get somebody uh, back, you know, since he's so young. Or if he just tanks, we traded John Curtis for him. So, like I said, though, I wish John Curtis the best. I do think he will do fine over in the Angels organization. And we are getting a pretty young stud middle infielder for ourselves. But I do want to know what you guys think. I, I was going to make the joke about uh, trading John Curtis for like, you know, like one of those big tubs of bubble gum or like a bucket of baseballs or something. That would have been, I think, a little bit too far. But maybe that's how you guys feel as well. Was it Was this guy... John Curtis, I'm talking about here. Was this guy needing to to see the door and and, and leave here, <laughs> leave Minnesota? Because you know, like I said, he had two years in the league, struggled. Now we sent him out. I think it was a fantastic trade. I think it was a great idea. But I definitely want to know what you guys think. And what do you think about Daniel Ozoria 
Is he going to turn into a stud? Is he not? What do you guys think? I would definitely want to know your opinions down in the comments because I do think that this, honestly, like I keep saying, is one of the best trades that the Twins have made in a while.